Hello everyone. It's a beautiful sunny day over here in Los Angeles. And I am here the beautiful rooftop of Ancient Light Curative by this beautiful water fountain right behind me. I wanted to locate it there so that you can see it. <laughs> I hope that you can hear the water but this is where I meditate. This is where I sunbathe, get half naked and get this beautiful sun rays, vitamin D that is so beneficial and important for overall health and well-being and for activating the pineal gland. My soul brothers and sisters on this beautiful Sunday want to talk about the importance of sun exposure and how good it is for the health, not only for health, for activating the pineal gland. The pineal gland is extremely important for many things when it comes to health. And I want to talk a little bit about that because it's beginning to be sunny out here in the world. Spring is here, it's getting sunny in most of the places in the earth. And I go out hiking and I see people, people covering themselves. Like I see people with gloves, literally, just their fingertips, gloves and these big glasses, shades and these hats and they're just covered in hiking like if they're vampires <laughs> i'm like if the sun going to melt you and turn you into ashes maybe you're a vampire but if you are a human being then you are a organism as plants are that need exposure for of the sun to grow to ascend to become healthy to regenerate the cells in your body because the cells in your body regenerate every year. Your cells are brand new every single year. However, if you cover yourself and hide from the precious sun, then you are blocking certain hormones that help the protection of the skin for causing of cancer and other conditions and I'm going to explain why okay so first thing let's talk about what is the pineal gland the pineal gland is located right in the center of the brain and this gland is known to be the main point access between the physical and the astral body in other words spirit because we are spirit inside an avatar body just like the engine of a car is inside of the outside of the car is the engine that makes the car the vehicle move not the car same with us we are spirit inside so the pineal gland also known as the third eye <laughs> and it's a tiny little gland very small and very powerful and the size of a, a little pea and it's in the shape of a pine cone actually that's why you see in the traditions of hinduism kundalini and so forth you always see this pine cone that they put in their heads and they worship and everything because it's in the shape of a pine cone it looks like one a tiny one and that's where the name pineal or pineal gland comes from from pineal if you spell it is very similar comes from the word pine as than the pine cone so this beautiful gland of ours magnificent pineal gland that we have so tiny produces neurochemicals that are essential for overall health well-being and especially in the spiritual development okay i'm going to mention some of these neurochemicals and explain a little bit what they do so one of them is the melatonin melatonin is for inducing sleep okay so the melatonin comes at night that's why you're supposed to sleep with all darkness and i will be doing a live video of how i do 
Chakra Tak meditation, which is concentrating in one point with a flame. And it's beautiful. You do it in the dark and it helps with the production of um, this melatonin. And it's, it's wonderful. And that's for another video. But this is one of the neurochemicals that it produces. The pineal gland also produces dimethyl tryptamine, also known as DMT, right? This amazing spiritual molecule. <laughs> and dimethyl tryptamine is produced by plants, is produced in animals, and is produced with the combination of ayahuasca. A lot of you have heard the vine ayahuasca. You mix it with chakruma or wambisa leaves. And that could be another story. You can look this up and it produces DMT that produces hallucinogenic and is profound healing and spiritual awakening and the human consciousness. And we produce this gland naturally. DMT is a schedule one illegal substance in the United States, of course, like every healing plant that is natural and free from the earth has to be illegal so that the pharmaceutical business don't get thrown right out of the bus <laughs> that's another story but um so we are carrying and producing this illegal substance in our brain constantly and that's very important another neurochemical that the pineal gland produces is melanin melanin is responsible for producing color in our skin, in our eyes, in our hair. It's protect the skin. And I'm going to speak about this exactly. But um, another neurochemical is serotonin. And the serotonin is for waking up. It's called the happy hormone, right? You wake up, you see the sunshine. It just shoots directly into your pineal gland and it makes you feel happy. It helps with getting in sync with the cycles of the universe, the moon, the night, the day, basically the circadian rhythms. And it's important for us to be in sync with the universe. We have the circadian rhythm, which is the internal clock inside of us. And that's why, like I used to in the past, live a vampirish life where I would just be up all night, away from the sun and sleep all day. And that is very unhealthy. You're basically killing your spirit and soul little by little. So it is very important to be in sync with the circadian rhythms, with the universe, and the serotonin is responsible for doing this. Serotonin maintains us in harmony. It strengthens the immune system, actually, and boosts your mood. And basically, it raises your vibrational frequency. <laughs> so all of this is produced by this precious sun. Right now I'm here sitting in the sun and receiving the vitamin D that it produces, which is the natural vitamin D. It's called sulfate vitamin D. It's not the vitamin D3 that you buy in a pharmacy, a supplement. The vitamin D3, the thing with it that you buy is like an artificial vitamin D. You can actually overdose from it and you can do your research about this if you want, but you can overdose from vitamin D3. The sulfate rays of the sun, you can't. You have to be very careful, of course, with the exposure of sun. There's certain times of the day that it produces the vitamin D. There's others that are a little more brutal. For instance, in the Northern Hemisphere, up in Canada, and those places where it's extremely cold, where the sun is never out, you want to get sun exposure in midday, 12 at noon. That's the, the exposure you want to get. But in places like in the Caribbean, where I'm from in Africa, in places where the sun is extremely brutal, well, you wanna do it around 10 a.m. or so. That is the time that the, in the morning where the vitamin D is being produced. So it is most important to go out into the sun and get this exposure daily. You wanna get your vitamin D daily and you don't need to be there and burn yourself. 15 to 20 minutes that you go on the sun, it's enough. There's this ridiculous, nonsensical misconception that the sun rays cause cancer. This is so false. What causes cancer is sunscreen. What causes cancer is GMO-based lotions. 
What causes cancers is these perfumes that we put full of chemicals, of these alcohol-based substances, especially with the GMO and the sunscreens have some sort of aluminum in it. So if you're putting something with aluminum and chemicals on your beautiful skin and the rays of the sun is going to reflect on it, right? And it's going to penetrate and that's what's going to create cancer in your skin. So it is most important to stop, <laughs> just stop. I see those people with sunscreen and I'm like, do they know that they're actually stimulating cancerous tumors within their skin? What I do, and that's why I have this beautiful tone of skin always and so healthy. I use coconut oil, natural, organic, raw, completely organic. It's important that if you use lotions, they are organic. They're based with natural ingredients. And I just oil my skin on coconut oil and then I go tan and do my 20 minutes, depending on your kind of skin. I'm olive. The darker you are, the more you can absorb vitamin D. The people very, very pale with like very, very white skin don't need to get that much sun exposure. It can be damaging. So you can put some oil on your skin and go out maybe 10, 15 minutes of vitamin D. That's good enough. And I want to mention with the pineal gland is you can calcify it with things such as fluoride, especially fluoride. Please, people do not drink tap water tap water that only has chlorine and all these other bad chemicals, it has fluoride. And fluoride is very hard to get rid of. Even a filter water cannot get rid of fluoride. And fluoride will most definitely affect and calcify your pineal gland. So please, let's start drinking more clean water. I drink distilled water. That's the best water. So it's oxygenated water and nothing can attach to it. No chemical can attach to it. And you can just sprinkle some lemon juice like I do and it's automatically alkaline. You alkaline your water with lemon juice. Stop buying all these ridiculous alkaline water that they sell. I used to do that. $10 for this little gallon for alkaline water. You can alkaline your water with a lemon juice. It's more natural, it's better, and it's completely alkaline immediately with lemon juice. Of course, GMO foods, anything that contains all these chemicals that the body is, does not recognize is going to put an effect in your pineal gland and your overall body and health. So it's most important to eat organic fruits and vegetables, natural things that the earth produces because we are like the plants. If you really think about a plant, what happens if you take your plant and hide it away from the sun? What's going to happen to that plant? It would die, right? It would completely die. It needs the light. If you see little plants, it just they find a way. They even go through concrete. You could put concrete on grass and you can see if there's a little crack, it will come right out. It's seeking for the sun. It wants to grow like the sunlight. We will die. We are organism species. Bottom line, if the sun ever goes, that is the end of us, okay? The plant organisms are the first species to die. The animal kingdom is the second and then humanity will die as we know it. So stop being afraid of the sun. Please share this information. Research about these things, okay? What I wanna talk about is sunglasses specifically. Sunglasses is known to actually help the production of cancer. Yes, your cool sun shades, okay? Those cool shades that make you look really cool are not so cool. <laughs> it's not smart to wear sunglasses. We wanna be smart, not look cool, okay? I will explain you this and I will give you some information. You can do your research on this, but what happens when you put sun shades on is first and foremost, the sunlight Right now I'm looking at here, I'm not directly looking at the sunlight, but the sunlight, the rays, the healthy rays are going straight to my pineal gland through my head right now and my forehead and, and the eyes, especially through the eyes. The eyes are lenses that we have. And as soon as the rays of the sun enter the, the lenses of our eyes that we have, it receives the sun rays, the white sun rays, and that produces the seven spectrums of the color. So it's important that we expose our eyes to the sun. So when you put shades on all the time, the body automatically thinks it's getting dark, that it's nighttime and that it's time to sleep. So it stops the production of melanin in the skin, which is what protects you from 
any sun damage so basically melanin is like the sunshade that protects the skin medical researcher and author his name is andreas moritz with a z at the end andreas moritz brilliant man if you want to know more about this search that man but sunglasses eventually causes cancer so ditch the cool shades okay there's no need to waste to spend so much money in these expensive ridiculous glasses that i used to do that and they used to be lost all the time and you can use that money to buy yourself some healthy organic food and stop going to drive through a burger king and mcdonald's you know this fast food people complain like oh organic food is so expensive and they're like with these 200 300 shades come on people we're intelligent beings. Let's demonstrate that that's the difference between animal kingdom and humanity. That is a big difference. So it is important that we meditate on the sun, out in the sun daily. So when you walk around, you don't need to stare at the sun. <laughs> you know what I mean? Some people's like so bright. The reason it's so bright is because you're so used to the sunglasses. I used to be like that. And look at me, I'm, I'm here. Actually, I, can, I do sun gazing. I can stare at the sun. I'm staring at it right now. And I'm fine. And I'm gonna tell you guys a little secret that happened to me the moment that I dished the glasses. The moment I dished the glasses and I stopped and going out in the bright like that and just embracing it like this. What happened to me is that when I start hiking, I sometimes hike at night and I hike in the mountains and I see these people with these flashlights. They're, it's, it's so bright and annoying to me. I've like gained this animal vision. <laughs> like the owls and like the wolves you see them they hunt at night <laughs> they can see everything how is it possible that they can see everything i started seeing every detail in the ground when i was walking like i was like wow i see everything and i wasn't like that before when i wear shades so your vision improves believe it or not it does especially in the dark i noticed that i was just seeing things better during the dark, at night in the darkness, I can appreciate everything. I was hiking in the mountain and it was still dark. It was pretty dark, but the reflection of the moon, even if it wasn't full completely, just the reflection, I can see things where I was going and I decided I'm not gonna turn the, the flashlight on. I can see perfectly fine. I was just there in sync with the animal kingdom. <laughs> I was like, just like one of them. I felt like a coyote myself, like just going around like, hey, yeah, I'm wild. I'm like a coyote, I can see. And the people around me with these flashlights that they couldn't see and it was so bright and annoying to me. I was like, just please, can you turn off that flashlight? It's just disturbing my hike, <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's something that happened to me. And it's important, this, the sun exposure. So I just want to put that out there. I'm trying to think if there's anything that I'm leaving out. I think that's it. I want to promote um, more sun exposure for you beautiful human beings and to teach the children these things. Stop putting the sunscreen, like you're spending money in these things that are causing cancer. It's made on purpose for that. The powers that be, we're in slavery. Like I mentioned before how we're still in slavery. It's just a smart slavery now. Instead of abusing you and having you, grabbing you by the neck, bringing you a leech. Like, they don't do it that way. They still have you enslaved. How? Because they're just draining your money. It's like parasitic world that we live in. This is the matrix. So we have to be able to live among the matrix, empowered and free. Free. Liberate yourself from these attachments of the matrix. So they put the sunscreen out there with a full of this aluminum so that you get to cancer and then you have to go to the doctor and yeah, you have tumors and they have to remove these tumors and this costs all this money and you have to you know get a radiation and you know like all this chemotherapy that costs thousands of dollars and then you have the pills it's, it's, it's like a continuous like draining of energy and money and sucking it's just we have to break free from this people okay the sun is like to me God and if you even believe in the Bible you go by these principles it does says that the sun they say is Jesus and that is God It's the universal energy life force right like even in Reiki it's like key it's chi is energy is prana as part of prana it makes us grow like the plants it gives us this beautiful glow in our skin so please stop hiding and ditch those glasses give it a try 
go out take a week or two without your glasses and at first because you're so used to it it's gonna be bothersome but continue trying just try look at me I'm right here with the Sun it's not bothering my eyes it's like I get used to it it's very very healthy so let's start stimulating activate the pineal gland you know the third eye so that we're more intuitive so we develop our psychic abilities that we have we all have psychic abilities if we have a pineal gland in our brain it's meant to be developed okay my beautiful people you have this ability okay that's what gut feeling your that sense of like oh my god I, I know better your higher self and it comes from activating the pineal start producing all these amazing and wonderful neurochemicals that this pineal gland produces for our own overall health and well-being by exposing yourself to the precious sun the tanning beds are ultra blue lights that create even more cancer do not lay in tanning beds for god's sakes like that's the worst that you can do to your skin you're just burning yourself with pure aluminum that's just really going to give you cancer the sun is out there every day for you and it's free and it's beautiful it, it produces sulfate vitamin d nothing else produces that okay so i hope that this motivate you to be embrace more this beautiful sun that we would die without it right on this beautiful sunday fun day the day of the sun because that's what sunday is sunday is the day of the sun so in honor of the sun i invite you to embrace it wherever you're at in the world and if it's really cold and cloudy always where you're at remember that even when it's cloudy just the fact that there's daylight is still there's like light that you can see just going out even being between the clouds even when it's cloudy go out in the middle of at 12 noon if you live in Alaska and Canada or somewhere in UK in these places where it's really cold and very like cloudy and just dull you are still getting some vitamin D if you are going out in the middle of the noon um, you're still going out I have to show you guys this oh my gosh it's um, the hawk is flying I can't see if I can, sh can you guys see it? Oh my God, it's so close, it's circling. It's the hawk, the Cooper hawk. <laughs> oh, I wanted you guys to see that. My spirit animals and guys are all around me. This right now to me, because I have a special connection with the hawk, it's a spirit animal. When I go hiking, I always see this hawk surrounding me. And I actually found a big Cooper hawk feather and I have it there. It was a precious gift of spirit. And whenever I'm speaking these things, speaking some truth to spread awareness in humanity, and I see a spirit like that, just he's gone now, but it was, it was right there in front of me circulating that's a sign to me because I am so in tune with the universe and with spirit and with my higher self that I know that it's like a sign of you're doing the right thing and that I'm surrounded with my beautiful angels and my ancestors and my spirit animals and spirit guides and it makes me so happy I'm so so blessed and grateful right now for that just for that moment